Oops, the cotton candy machine can't be too close to the bounce house or it'll be puke city. Blech. I hope you're writing this down. <laughs> Mr. Sprinkles, hello, focus. Eunice would kill for this job. Duncan. Uh, I'm sorry about Eunice. I'll get her patched up for you. By the way, this is Duncan. I'm training him. Duncan, sit. It's a work in progress. So you're planning our birthday party again, huh? I was. I kind of wanted to talk to you about that. I was hoping I could plan the party this year. Oh, you're serious. Listen, sweetie, party planning takes a certain je ne sais quoi. I got a ton of that. <clears throat> Besides, I've always planned our birthday parties. Ugh, that's the point. You plan our party every year, even before we were born. <laughs> we always do your frou-frou party. It's only fair that I get to plan this year's Lana style. <laughs> Yeah, it's that last part that scares me. Don't worry, sis. The party's in great hands. Oops, sorry. Not even sure what that is. Time to plan the best birthday party ever. <gasps> Come on, Mr. Sprinkles. We have to stop Lana from ruining the party. But first, I'll need to take a three-hour shower. Here we are. Hazel Tucky's finest party supply store. Wait here. I'll make sure they're open. Uh, I see customers inside. <gasps> Those could be thieves! Stay here where it's safe. Midge! Lola, how did the Parisian table runners go over at your tea party? Midge, I don't have time to talk about that. Okay, they look fabulous. But listen, I have a party crisis on my hands. I need you to hide everything poop-colored now! No peeking yet! <sighs> okay. So many things that are just perfect for our party, huh? Ooh, how about this? Tropical fun, flirty. Mm. Nah, those don't really scream Lana to me. Hmm. Do you have a dumpster? Oh, Midge, how much for the half-eaten cheese? It'd make a great centerpiece. Oh, uh, gosh, well, I don't know. Uh, can I get a price check on the uh, dumpster cheese? Uh, free? Cool! Yes! Oh. <laughs> wow! Oh, batteries! Rotting fish heads! These would make perfect party favors! Don't panic, Lola. This is only a minor setback. The party can still be saved. Okay, before we go home, let's talk entertainment. I was thinking a princess story time show, a mermaid matinee, a genie in a bottle. A Sorry, Lulz. I actually had something else in mind. Shortcut! Ah! <laughs> All right, everything looks to be in order. Hang on tight, or don't. I'm charging for the test ride either way. Let her rip, Flip! You got it. Let me give old Roy some spicy mustard. Yeah, that really gets him going. How about this one? Nah. Oh, no, this one, this one. Nah, nah. Okay. Do you have a sink and some dirt? Are you with the health department? Nope. Then follow me. We'll take it from here. <laughs> Speechless, huh? Well, I think that means we've what do you have for toppings? Any worms or bugs we could sample? Uh, I'm sure we could find something in the pantry. Oh, those are just some exploding candles. Wait, be careful with those! Ah! Happy birthday, Lons. Happy birthday, Lulz. <gasps> Got it! Wait, wait, wait! One more for safety. I can't believe you managed to get the exploding candles, too! Wait, what? Minor 
setback. We can still win this thing. Wake up and smell the hairspray, Lincoln. It's over. You can't just quit. We've worked hard on this. There'll be other pageants, you know. But not with Dairyland tickets. Lincoln, I need my beauty rest. As your pal Gil DeLilly would say, I can't recover if you're going to hover. I can't believe I learned a French braid for nothing. Hey, Lincoln, you done with this? I could use a scrap metal for welding. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Lana, how would you like a season pass to Dairyland? <gasps> Don't toy with me, Lincoln! I'm not. All you have to do is one teensy tiny little thing. What is it? I'll do anything! You just have to take Lola's place in the Little Miss Prim and Perfect pageant and win. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Do you know who you're talking to? Someone who is going to love Dairyland's newest ride, the Milkshaker. It's so fast, you can barf, fly around a loop, and get hit in the face with said barf. Darn you, Lincoln! I am in! Whoa, look at those girls. They're all so clean and sparkly. Well, so are you. You're as good as any of them. Loose floorboard. That'll hold. Carry on. <laughs> Lana, what was that? We talked about the tools. Uh, I couldn't help it. Fixing stuff is what I do. You're supposed to be prim and perfect. Now, do you want to go to Dairyland and get hit in the face with your own bar for not? I know you can do this. The interview's next. Go out there and nail it. Not with that. Lola. What can six-year-olds do to eliminate the national debt? Um... No, 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 no! Plenty, Donnie. Just because we're six doesn't mean we can't make a difference. <laughs> oh, <hops! laughs> Lana, what is the problem? We went over everything in Gil's book, and the companion DVD, and the podcast. How are you still not getting it? I'm sorry, Lincoln. No matter what I do, I can't be prim and perfect like these girls. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Lona, wait, there's nothing wrong with you. I I'm the one who messed up. I got so caught up in winning those tickets, I turned into Gilda Lily, who, when you stop to think about it, probably needs to get a life. Yeah, but still, why can't I be like them? Because you're you. You're messy and muddy and keep a lot of reptiles in your pants. But that's what makes you awesome. And I was crazy to try and change you. Aw, thanks, Lincoln. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Lola Loud and her fabulous ribbon dance. Well, that's me. I'll do my best. Forget the ribbon dance. Why don't you go do your own talent? Really? Okay, but we can kiss those Dairyland tickets goodbye. I don't care about them anymore. Go be yourself. Yo, Hops, give me a bass line. It was all my idea. I have worked for years to build my pageant reputation, and you just ruined it! Lola, listen. And the winner is... Lola Loud! Woohoo! Ah, Lola, I'm so sorry I pretended to be you. Please don't be mad at me. I don't like what you did, but you did win. And I respect a winner. Siblings, assemble! It's almost time for the annual ritual of deception versus confection. 
Mission! Street name? Trick or treating! Four score and seven pieces of candy a go! Give me your tired, your poor, your delicious treats yearning to be in my tummy! Mmm, patriotic, but unlikely to generate maximum candy collection. Oh, yeah? We're also a mermaid and a pirate! And salt and pepper shakers! This way we can hit each house three times. That means three times the candy. Yes, I am familiar with basic multiplication. Your strategy is cute, but mine is far superior. Going as a kangaroo? <laughs> I doubt it. Kangaroo plus baby roo. <gasps> Precisely. That awe factor will increase my candy revenue exponentially. And the best part is, she only has one tooth, so I don't have to share. Snap out of it, Lana. Trick or treat! Oh, aren't you too adorable? Trick or treat! So cute! Trick or treat! Great costumes! Thank you! And that is how it's done. One house, six pieces of candy. Trick or treat! How sweet! A kangaroo! And a baby roo! <laughs> Thank you! Ah, one house, 87 pieces of candy. Ah, oh no, oh, a ghost just touched me! <laughs> Daddy, wake up! Never fear, siblings. I have prepared for this eventuality. Crud! I know Miss Allegra is gonna call me to the board and I'm gonna beef it. No, you won't. I got this. Miss Allegra, may I please use the little lady's room? Of course. Actually, I need to go too. Must be a twinsy bladder thing. <laughs> We're back! Fantastic. Lana, why don't you come to the board and solve this problem? There's nothing I'd enjoy more. Except maybe gross stuff like eating boogers. Marker, please. Well done, Mana. Oh, thank you. Oh, a curtsy. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were Lola. <gasps> <gasps> oh, Lana, you're so gross. <sighs> How was school today, guys? Great. Best day ever. Well, I hope this won't put a damper on it, but Lola, you have a checkup with Dr. Peterson, and Lana, you're scheduled for a teeth cleaning with Dr. Feinstein. Ah, I hate being around all those sick people. Plus, Dr. Peterson's office smells like old cheese. I don't want to see Dr. Feinstein. Drills are for engine mounts and lug nuts, not teeth. Oopsie, I seem to have spilled my book bag. Lana, would you be so kind as to join me on the floor and help me retrieve my things? Get it yourself. Oh, uh, it would be my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, talent. Jackie, let's see your gymnastics routine. Oh, <laughs> tumbling. Cute. And there she goes! Giant swing move with a full release! She spins 360 degrees and then a half turn with a climb, jump, and a handstand! <gasps> eh, not my best. Next up, we have Lola performing... Oh, uh, a ribbon dance. Cute. <laughs> what is the single most significant event in human history? Great! Question. It depends whether we approach from a socioeconomic or geopolitical perspective. Ah! Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Lola, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. I do feel a little under the weather, but the pageant must go on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You are clearly sick. I'm so sorry, Lola. I know how much you wanted to compete, but... You just can't. <sighs> That's all right. I'll get over it. Someday. Well, enjoy the spa. Shh, forget the spa. I am staying right here. Maybe a fun sister day will help cheer you up. What? No! You don't have to do that. I know I don't have to. I want to. Now, sit tight. I'm going to hit the gift shop for supplies. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm back! Oh, good! The flowers and balloons arrived! First up, Manny Petties. I got coral and sea foam. You get first pick. Whoa, these are the fancy brand! What's money when you have a sick sister? Ugh. Room service? I'd like two chocolate chip cookies. Warm, please, with your coldest milk. But those cookies are five ninety. What else am I going to do with my really hard-earned babysitting money? And the winner of the Little Miss Unsightly Skin Rash pageant is Miss Lola Loud! Oh, Little Miss Unsightly Skin Rash! Da-da-da-da-da! <laughs> Lola! What's wrong? Is your condition getting worse? Oh, I don't have a condition. Unless you count being a terrible person. I'm not really sick. I faked all this with makeup to get out of the pageant. But why? I don't understand. Well, I've never competed at this level before. And the other girls are really talented. I couldn't stand the idea of... Losing. Yeah, that thing. I'm sorry I lied. I understand if you're mad. Actually, Lulz, I'm not. Really? No, I get it. I almost skipped homecoming because I was worried I wouldn't win queen. But in the end, I sucked it up, put on my dress, and went anyway. And I'm so glad I did. But I thought Carol Pingre won homecoming queen. Oh, she totally did. And it definitely hurt at first. But if I hadn't have gone, I would have missed out on an amazing night. The competition is going to get tougher as you get older, but you can't let it stop you from doing what makes me happy. Exactly! So what do you say? You still want to do this thing? Yes, but it's too late. The pageant starts in 10 minutes, and look at me. I, I'm a complete disaster. Don't worry. I'm calling an expert. Okay, Lori, grab a makeup wipe. The one with the green tea extract. We don't need to be irritating the skin right now. One with green tea extract, check. And start warming up the curling iron while you're at it. Ugh, the one inch barrel, not the three quarters. Have you ever heat styled before, woman? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Little Miss Southeastern Michigan pageant. Beautiful girls, I'm talking about the beautiful girls. Just crazy for the beautiful Go get them, Lola. Remember, eyes forward, chin up, she clinched. Let's meet our contestants. Let's hear it for these beautiful girls. Yes! Lola Loud and her ribbon dance. It's like she's one with the ribbon. Literally. You were right, Lori. Even though I lo lo didn't win. I'm really glad I did it. Nice job, Lola. We're gonna have to watch out for you next year. Speaking of next year, Lola, I think we should add some tumbling moves to your ribbon dance. I'm... Goodbye, Lincoln. Now, come on. You and I are going to hit the spa for some well-deserved pampering. They're just frogs, Lana. What's the big deal? I'll show you what the big ow, deal ow. is. Watch this movie I made about hops. Hops, a light in leaves. I'll never forget the day I met my future best friend. <laughs> You're the best froggy. Well, I gotta go. Dad's making meatloaf tonight. Thanks for the fun day. Aw, you're lonely, aren't you, little guy? Would you like to come home and live with me? name you Hops. Since that day, we've been pretty inseparable. We eat all our meals together. Hops likes his crickets chocolate covered, but I like mine plain. We play together. We even get our school photos taken together. All right, kids, smile. Three, two, one, cheese. Nighty night, buddy. Mwah. I can't imagine what life would be like without my best friend, Hops. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. You 
See, Lincoln, frogs are cooler on the outside than they are on the inside. So please, don't dissect them. I won't, and neither will anyone else. What do you mean? We're going on a rescue mission. What's up, Frog A's? We're here to rescue you. Uh, uh, let's go. <gasps> My frogs! Principal Hawkins! Principal Hawkins! Whoa, that open window decoy was brilliant. What do you think? This is my first animal rescue? Be free, my amphibian friends! Be free! Good luck, froggies! Have a nice life! Uh, you guys might want to get moving. Seriously, guys, go! Do you want to be today's lunch special? Move! Why aren't they moving? Maybe they don't know how to survive in the wild. Hey, you! Not cool! Lincoln, we can't leave them here. You're right. We'll take them home till we can think of a better plan. Don't even think about it! No one wants to confess? I guess we can just let it slide. Not! I'll find the frog hero myself by searching each of your houses after school. So get ready. Huggins is coming. Boom. Good afternoon, children. Well, I don't see any frogs here. I guess I'll just be on my way. Not! Well, it appears your house is frog-free, so I'll be on my way. Good luck, sir. Keep fighting the good fight. I'll just grab your coat. <gasps> I'll grab my own coat. <gasps> what is wrong with you two? Nothing. Drive safe. What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. You are the frog hero! <sighs> We're sorry, guys. We failed you. If only Principal Huggins could see you the way we do. Pops, you beautiful green warty genius! Up high, buddy. <sighs> that was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen! <laughs> <laughs> See? Frogs are way cooler on the outside. There is no way we're dissecting them. But what are we going to do with all these frogs? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> we call it the Frog A Fortress. <laughs> Lola, playtime's over. We gotta go. That's no way to speak to your queen. Send him to the dungeon! <laughs> Lola, wait! I just came to tell you, uh, there's another queen outside who says she's more powerful than you. What? Well, I'll have her head! There's no one here! You lied! Well played, sir. Let's move out! Take care of my kingdom! Aha! I found another D! Diet! Lincoln, that's not human food. It is if the human is... Lana! Lana. <laughs> Lana, out! Let's go! No can do, Lincoln! I gotta keep these duck eggs warm. Congratulations! Okay, we still have time to get home before Mom and Dad. So, we're just leaving Lily here? Probably still on the train. She really liked that train. <laughs> you guys stay here. <laughs> um, excuse me, Miss Scoots. Could you give me a ride, please? I need to catch that train. Uh, that sounds like a you problem. Look, you didn't get an autograph from Rip, right? How about if I give you mine? 
My bae signed this? Deal! The psychic girl was right. My business did make a big splash. Good job, Linky. Thanks. Well, we better get going. Wait, what happened to your signed book? Isn't that the whole reason we came here? I gave it to Scoot so she'd help me catch Lily. Oh, sorry, big brother. For reasons incomprehensible to me, I know that autograph was important to you. Not as important as you guys. I never should have dragged you here in the first place. I was supposed to be responsible for you. I'm sorry. It's okay, big brother. We forgive you. Ish. Let's go home. Stella said he's one bad bunny. But there are no bad bunnies. Just misunderstood. <laughs> Keep that thing away from my prize petunias, loud. Uh, I'm trying! <laughs> sorry about that, Mr. Grouse. Mm, sorry's not gonna bring back my petunias. Mm. Now, let's try this again, but with a leash. <laughs> now, let's walk. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Let's try food motivation. Jazzy, this is butter lettuce. All you have to do is sit still, and you can have it. <laughs> Jazzy! Jazzy? Jazzy! Jazzy! Oh, hey, it's Lola. <laughs> Mama, what's wrong? Look. Oh, no, you lost your bunny. Take my ride to go look for him. Thanks, Lulz. That's really sweet. But you better not fart in the driver's seat! <gasps> oh no, you guys! Look! Flip, did you see an unhinged rabbit come through here? Oh, uh, what do you think, champ? I'm not sitting up here so I can inspect my nacho cheese machine. <laughs> uh, give me a call later. I'll fix up your shop. <laughs> Okay, which way did he go? The rabbit! Which way did he go? Okay, what way? <laughs> hey, sweetie, how's the bunny training going? Terrible. I lost Jazzy. Can you drive me to Stella so I can tell her the bad news? Of course. And hey, why don't we post some flyers on the way? And when we're done, I'll treat you to some ice cream. Did you get trapped in a car wash again? No, worse. We had to close Reininger's early. There was a rampaging bunny on the loose. It was like Easter, but awful. Jazzy! To the mall! Thanks for the ride, Mom. Hops, you come with me. Everybody else, stay put for your own sake. Who's still up for ice cream? Look, there's Jazzy! <laughs> gotcha! Hey, I demand you release that bunny. His name is Jazzy and he's in my care. What? Well, th th this is Snazzy. And he escaped from my pet store earlier. But he looks exactly like Jazzy. It's like they're related or something. <gasps> Wait a minute. Does this rabbit have any siblings? Yeah, one. But I sold it a couple days ago to some girl. <gasps> Hops, I know what's going on. Snazzy is Jazzy's twin. Sir, I would like to buy Snazzy. Ugh. It all makes sense now. That's why both bunnies have been bad. They just need their twin, like Lola and me. I mean, sure, sometimes she can be awful, but I still love her and need 
later. And if Snazzy has twin powers like Lola and me, he should be able to find Jazzy by smell. Like right now, Lola's getting her nails done at Susie's salon. Hmm, I wonder what Lana's doing at the mall. Okay, your turn, Snazzy. Sniff out Jazzy. Jazzy, you're back! Come on, let's get both of you guys to Stella. <laughs> 